So I'm going to show you exactly how to buy royalties for music for massive passive income. But first, I have a few examples. If you're any kind of country music fan, then you'll know what? if you're going to play in Texas, was sold for only $56,000. So how much massive passive income came in from that tiny investment over 12 months? That brought in a whopping $4,992. But that's not even the craziest part though. You wouldn't believe that that passive income came from them purchasing only 25% of the royal. So that wasn't even the whole song, but wait, there's more. Our beloved Sesame Street songwriter, Mr. Joe Repasso. Guess how much his estate auctioned off the rights and royalties to the freaking Sesame Street song. That charity got a massive $580,000 in royalties. So enough with the examples. I think you get the point. How do you go ahead and do this? Well, I have two ways. The first one is pretty expensive and the other one I think anybody can afford to do if they want to learn how to buy royalties for music first let's try the expensive route for you ballers this website is called the royalty exchange where music deals are transacted so let's look at the first listing right here it's the commodores and if you guys are not old school you won't know what the heck that is but check this out the last 12 month earnings was around $75,000 they do not have the listing price but guess what I'm pretty sure you heard of Chance the Rapper, uh, Anderson Pack, and them guys right there. So this one brought in 116,000 in the last 12 months of earnings. We're gonna try to find one that has the actual listing price. Okay, do you remember that group, My Chemical Romance? I don't know if they're still around right now, but their last 12 month earnings were uh, 35,756 bucks, and you can purchase that for just $430,000. Now, I know if you guys understand the meaning of true passive income, but that means money coming in from you doing an action one time and it's coming in without you having to continue doing that action. So this is how you achieve real freedom and everything, guys. Now, take a look at this one right here. This is Mandy Moore's Candy. In the 90s and the early 2000s, she was pretty popular. You can purchase this one for only 50,000 freaking dollars and in the last 12 months it brought in four thousand uh two hundred and ninety four bucks now i know i know i know what you're thinking how the hell do i get all of that money to invest i'm broke and i'm watching this right now i just want passive income well before i show you the other cheap way of how to invest or buy uh royalties for music this is their get funding page so it says build your financial security secure artistic freedom raise money from just your back catalog today keep all your rights blah 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 but there are also loans out there where you guys can be able to invest in some of these songs so now what is the true cheap way of buying royalties for music the cheapest way is to first go to instagram and search the hashtag rapper or rappers do your best to avoid accounts that look like this Instead, look for accounts with a decent following uh, and decent engagement, but best of all, they have a link that looks like this. So why do you want to make sure that they have a link in their bio? Simple, because most of the time it'll take you to their site, their page, or something like that that has their videos, their music on it. That means that they're an actual artist working. Then you can open this right here. So what's so special about them having a Spotify website account? Well, we all know that Spotify pays its musicians with streams and... So the good news is, since they're a smaller artist right now, you won't have to pay in the hundreds of thousands or anything like that to invest in their music. But you can make passive income just by sending them some type of irresistible offer to take a share. All right, You ain't got to get all exclusive rights unless you just want to, like if they're willing to part ways with it, if you can create a good offer. But this is a way because they're in the, in the startup phases right now. They could blow up any time. What if you invested before in an artist and their music and their streams and all of that? And then if they blew up later, like you're just locked in. You have a piece of that. It's like buying equity in a startup or something like that, right? So this is one of the easiest ways to go ahead and buy royalties for music. You catch them at the beginning phases. You buy into it. Like, yo, I see that you got some streams on Spotify or whatever. How much are you making per month or whatever? Oh, I'm making this put much per month, but I'm going to ramp it up. Cool. How about I invest in you? I'll give you enough money to go and get uh, some more studio time or something like that. But this is how much I want in return for the royalties off of this song right here or this 
album right here, guys. So this is just a creative way of investing and uh, buying royalties for music. And it's going to grant you with passive income. I pray that I have brought that point apart in this video, guys. So if you're new to this channel, do a gently sidekick to the subscription button and an unbox uh, high knee kick from Tony Jai to the share button. All right. Love you guys.